welcome to the biggest reading hall fair. I just wanted to give you a fair warning for when you witness what you are about to witness. Things did not go according to plan, but I still felt the need for you to tag along, so just be ready. Books were read, eventually, but what I had planned in my head for this week and this week, past weekend uh, was very quickly derailed. All that being said, enjoy! <laughs> Everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a reading vlog. Well, it's gonna be like a reading, cleaning, maybe puzzling vlog. Who knows? But anyway, I have today, tomorrow off from work. I have literally no plans other than to read, clean, and watch some Oscar nominated movies. So I figured I'd take you along with me. It's gonna be fun. Let's get started. First, we gotta run to the store grab some cleaning supplies. So I'll take you with me. Let's go. Alrighty guys. So let me show you the haul that I got. Um, first of all, I got this cool little selfie stick. So now I don't have to hold you like this. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, let me kind of go through everything I got. Mm -hmm. So nothing super exciting. We got like sponges a magic eraser, gloves. Um, on the more exciting side, I bought myself a new reusable cup because I want one for out here in the living room and then one in my bedroom so I drink more water. Um, I got a whole bag of fake flowers because if you look behind me, those flowers are dead and I would like to replace them. Um, but I can't keep real flowers alive. So, and then on again the more fun side I got a puzzle because I've been watching Peru's project on YouTube and she does a ton of puzzling I know I really want to get into puzzling again um but yeah then I got oven cleaner toilet bowl cleaner and just some paper towels so we're gonna get cleaning ready so I'm gonna start the first of my little baby reading sprints I'm about halfway through the girls of atomic city so I'm going to get hunkered down, do a little mini reading sprint with this, and then we'll do some more cleaning. So far, I'm still really enjoying it. I like that it's written in a narrative sense, just because... There are so many stories that we're hearing from, so it's nice to um, read it in this narrative way that the author is writing it. Plus, it's just really fascinating that there was an entire town of people who were working on things that they had no idea what they were working on and weren't allowed to talk about it. So, but yeah, I'm going to make myself some lunch, then I'm going to do some more cleaning, then I'll do another reading session. Hello, everybody. Um, I owe you a reading update. It is the next day. Um, I have got a considerable amount of cleaning done. I've got pretty much everything done on my list. I've watched three Oscar-nominated movies now. Um, have not puzzled, but um, my period decided to kind of ex nay all the plans I had for this weekend. But I've got about 100 pages left on here. I'm hoping to get this done today because I would like to start another book. So, but I thought I would check in because been a minute um so yeah I'm do some more reading Alrighty, i finally feel uh, uh up to doing some puzzling so i got this cute one it's just some mushrooms it's called mystical mushrooms um so i'm gonna get started on that i did finish girls of atomic city it was really good at four out of five stars i'll talk about it more at the end of this video but i am also going to be starting if we were villains by ml rio um, so I'm excited about that, but while I puzzle, I'm going to watch some Critical Role because I have not watched last Thursday's video. So I'll watch that while I do some puzzling. a whole day <laughs> um 
my weekend did not go like I thought it was going to. I had plans. I had dreams. I had goals I was going to accomplish. That didn't happen because my um, period was like, ha, 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 screw you. And then on top of that, I had a two-day migraine. So reading or watching movies or puzzling for that matter was not enjoyable. But I feel better today. Granted, it's a Monday, so can't do that much. But I would like to get some more puzzling done. I would like to get some more reading done. Um, I did get more into If We Were Villains. And then I did get the audiobook of Scoundrel, so I've been listening to that on my drive to and from work. So I got two books going right now, so it's not horrible. But my weekend reading vlog has now turned into a week-long reading vlog. That's I plan on releasing it on this upcoming Friday. So here we are. But I'm going to go take a shower. I just did my nails, and I don't know about you, but there's nothing more satisfying than doing your nails and then taking a shower, because it fixes all your mistakes. It's great. So I'm gonna go take a shower, then come back, do some puzzling, do some reading, and we'll go from there. Well, if you've made it this far, you've made it to the actual part of the video that was intended. The rest of this was not. It was a hot mess of a weekend and a week, but we're here. Two books have been completed. One audiobook is currently being read. So things are going eh. But that being said, I did finish two books this weekend. I finished The Girls of Atomic City by Denise Kiernan and If We Were Villains by ML Rio. Um, Girls of Atomic City was really, really, really good. It was interesting in the sense of it's a nonfiction, but it was told in a very narrative perspective which I think worked for all of the different stories that were being told in this book. Um, the book is about the city in Tennessee really created to house and work on secret projects to help build the atomic bomb. All these people who went there didn't know what they were doing. And so they'd be working on separate projects throughout the whole town, but none of them knew what what the projects all were for but what anyone else was doing so you only knew what people you were working with were doing and even then if they were doing like even if you were working in the same building as them but they were doing something else you had no idea what they were doing you weren't allowed to talk about what you were doing you weren't allowed to talk about they had like code names for everything in the facilities so like the uranium and all of that stuff um but it was super interesting and you got to see both perspectives from white women and then also from African-American women who were there. And you got to see the difference of living arrangements and how they made a living and all of that stuff. Um, so that was good to get both perspectives on there. But then oh my God, they talked about some of the testing they did, which I didn't know about, which was just horrifying. Um, but this book was very good. And if you enjoy history, I think you'd really enjoy it. It's a topic that I don't know a ton about, which I love learning about World War II specifically. So I'm surprised I've never heard about this town before. Obviously, I know about the Manhattan Project and I know about what they did in um, New Mexico and all their tests and stuff and Oppenheimer. And Oppenheimer, the movie is really the reason why I wanted to read more about this because I wanted more background about the whole project so but yeah i gave it four to five stars i thought it was a very good read moving on we've got if we were villains by ml rio um this is about a group of college students who go to a conservatory for theater um and they basically only put on shakespeare plays and during one of their productions one of their fellow their castmates is found dead. Um, and so the whole, all of them get wrapped up in it. And so you're getting the perspective of both them putting on the plays, being seniors in college, their personal lives, but also dealing with this death and trauma and all of that stuff. It was fine. 
I gave everybody the three to five stars. Um, from a theater kid's perspective, it was very interesting because I definitely were was associating kids I graduated with to different characters in the book. Uh, so that was interesting. But it was super pretentious. And I don't know if it's just because I'm not the biggest fan of Shakespeare. I have done a Shakespeare play. And it was one of the worst experiences of my life. And I hate Romeo and Juliet with a fiery passion. But I love Macbeth. And I love, there's a TV show called Slings and Arrows that was on in Canada. And it's about them putting on Shakespeare productions. And that's great. And I love that. But like Shakespeare as a whole, I feel like there is a certain air of pretentiousness surrounding it. And the part that really ruined this book for me was that these kids talked to each other in Shakespearean quotes, like not consistently, but like they would just every once in a while throw in a Shakespearean quote. And I was like, oh my God, that's so douchey. So like I struggled with this because I didn't find any of the characters likable. I also struggle with dual timelines, especially in cases like this. So the book is being told from the perspective of Oliver and you are getting Oliver's perspective of currently, which is 10 years after the death happened. And he has just now been released from prison. And then you are getting it as him telling what happened 10 years earlier. Um, for me, I struggle with something like that because it makes it harder to get a shock value because clearly Oliver's still alive. Clearly the people who are in the present day are still alive. So there is no shock value or really like a, I don't even know how to say it. It just, there's no reason for me to care about these characters because I know what's going to happen about them with them if that makes sense um I think it's really really well written I think the storyline as a whole was interesting I just think and I get that there is a certain level of Shakespearean drama to the book and that was kind of the point and uh, one of the characters is named Richard and there's just certain characters that have Shakespearean names and then their fates are similarly aligned but it just was very pretentious and the characters just seemed very douchey and just was not what I wanted it to be. I'm still going to keep it because I think I would like to go back and reread it at some point and maybe go in and annotate. I'm not going to annotate the Shakespearean quotes because uh, one, they're real hard to understand. I am like I appreciate Shakespeare. I love what he did for theater. God, he's so wordy. I don't know if you've ever seen something rotten, but there's a song called God I Hate Shakespeare. And just a lot of what they say in that song is how I feel. But three out of five stars. Three point five out of five stars, if we're being honest. I'll be generous. Um but yeah. I'll keep it. Maybe reread it someday down the line. I mean, there is supposed to be a TV show coming out of it, which I don't know how I feel because it's not that long of a book. Like, if you were going to make an adaptation about it, just make it a movie. There's not enough crap to pull and make into, a, like, a 10-episode TV show. Or do what the British do and make it three episodes. That's great. That's beautiful. That would be wonderful. That would fit perfectly. But anyway, and then I'm currently reading Scoundrel. Uh, I'm listening to that on audiobook, and that is going really well. It is a uh, murder case that I know nothing about, and it is about the man who was convicted and then convinced everyone he was innocent. Um, and so you're seeing it. We, so far from where I am, we've gone through the murder, we've gone through the trial, we are now in the appeal stage, and now we're starting to get into the... Um, gentleman who will then help this murderer become free so we haven't gotten into the actual like manipulation i mean we're kind of in the manipulation stage but not in the sense of like him manipulating 
the entire country. But so far, it's good. I like reading it as an audiobook. I read it on my way to work. So yeah, thank you so much for tagging along on this horrendous reading vlog. If you made it this far, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I promise that reading vlogs will be better in the future. I promise. It won't be this messy. But thank you all for being here. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye. Thank you.